Here at Riverside Elementary, we have integrated Minds Up curriculum into our daily routine. Uh, Minds Up is teaching our students how to be focused and attentive to their learning during the school day. We've noticed that the students coming to us are increasingly um, challenged by being able to focus and pay attention um, and wait their turn. And so we felt like we really needed to address those needs by giving and teaching some tools that students could use to help them to be focused and ready to learn. Children come to us with lots of energy and enthusiasm. Yoga teaches them things that help them to get in control of themselves. The mindfulness activities that we have worked on bring a lot of things into focus for the children and they have the tools that they need to be better managers of themselves. So one way to balance our Mind Up curriculum in our classroom was we brought in a yoga instructor, Miss um, Tammy, and the kids had several weeks with her and um, she did a wonderful job at laying the foundation of bringing together our mindful curriculum plus the yoga instruction with the students. Um, she did a wonderful job. The students really gained knowledge of that yoga foundation. Even though Tammy hadn't worked with kindergarten age students before, she really enjoyed teaching yoga to those students. And I know she's looking forward to working with um, kindergarten age group again in the future. With the money from our grant, we purchased these books that are from the Hahn Foundation, as in Goldie Hahn. This book was written as a result of research that was done at her foundation. We have been working through the lessons in the book this semester, and we've done things including anatomy. We've learned about the different parts of our brains and their roles and responsibilities in their lives. We're teaching the kids these tools and other teachers in the school are seeing them with their uh, doing their yoga practice or they're seeing them and the effects of taking that mindful breath and they're asking our kindergarten teachers what is it that you're doing? What are you teaching them? Because they can see it's such good stuff that um, our teachers are then putting those things into practice with their own adult selves and we have parents that have um, their kids are coming home to them and, and teaching them some of these strategies and the parents then are wanting to know more and saying how powerful it is for their child not just in school but also outside of school. When you transition sometimes the children have a harder time um, being centered and focused. Take for example coming in from recess um, the students are kind of hyper and very active. When we come in, we usually go straight into math. So it's been nice to have the mindful curriculum to do um, a short breathing activity where they're able to calm their bodies and their brains. Um, and so it's kind of been neat to see their transition and how they're able to calm themselves. I've seen less um, students be impulsive. I've seen them kind of stop and be able to calm themselves and refocus. Um, it's really easy for us now with teaching the vocabulary of being focused and being mindful. They're able to understand what we mean by that and our expectation. So if they're very, um, if they're somewhat off task, for instance, today um, during reading, they were off task and um, I just kind of stopped and sat down and I said, we're gonna take a few minutes to focus ourselves and recenter our brains. And um, it was two minutes and it was great. And we went right back into our lesson. And so it's kind of helping us with our academics, um, with them knowing how to recenter themselves and become focused um, and use that mindful breathing. Even with just taking a moment to stop and take a focused breath that will save us so much instructional time in the end because it refocuses, an entire classroom can be refocused in just less than 30 seconds with a mindful breath. That mindful breath gives them a chance to just think before acting. And we're always talking about um, slowing down and give thought before you give action so that you can make a better choice and in making those better choices, then you choose to have positive behavior instead of the negative behavior. And then we have all sorts of chain reactions from that positive behavior. With the mindfulness curriculum, we are teaching concepts that are big ideas for kindergarten. 
But in kindergarten, we're not afraid of big ideas or big words. We, that when children master some of these things, it gives them power. And kindergarten children often feel like they have the least amount of power of anybody in the building. So if we can empower them to manage themselves better, we've accomplished a whole lot.